All right. Looks like we're recording. All right. Well, as it would seem, I tried doing this before already, and <clears throat> my record light wasn't even on, I guess, apparently. But anyway, uh, this SG8, this is model SG8 Heath kit signal generator. <clears throat> it's an RF signal generator. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed to have those round gray knobs on it, which was typical for Heathkit. Now this Heathkit, now this signal generator is manufactured from 1953 to 1961. After that, they were never produced. So, what can we figure out from that? Well, if those are gray knobs, and that's what they used to come with, what is this? What are those knobs? Well, obviously, somebody got into this thing and went ahead and decided those old Heathkit knobs had to go. And these are all brand new knobs, every last one of them. And they're all non-Heathkit knobs. In fact, I think that one, that one in the center, would have actually been from a Halicrafters. But actually, it, it looks a lot nicer and actually works better than the other ones would have anyway. But, uh, yeah, so... Really, it's surprising what condition this thing is in. Uh, oh yeah, I took the uh, when I took the cabinet off. I figured, well, what does that look like? You know, and the outside was fine. What did the inside look like? Unbelievable! Look at that. <laughs> it's like a mirror inside. It's totally shiny. There's no rust, no nothing. I never even cleaned with a rag or anything. There's not even any dust in it. So somebody was in this thing, and uh, apparently, and then uh, the copper coating on the chassis is still perfect. There's no evidence of any rust of any kind. It's in perfect shape. Uh, and uh, like I said, the newest this could be would be 1961. So for 1961, that's in pretty good shape. Uh, so, and I found out also my RF probe for my ICO. It actually uh, screws into this, so it won't be a problem. I don't have to scrounge around for any other probes anywhere because this has already got it. Now, uh, let's take a look and see if this thing's going to power on. That's what I want. Want to find out. There's an off on switch there. Let's see, is it on or off? Let's see. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Okay, first off, I got it turned off. Yeah, we're still recording, so that's good. Now, let's see if I can tilt that down a little. Okay. Now, Turn my Variac on. In fact, I'm going to keep it on all the way here. It's 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 on 117 right now. So let's turn it on. It says AC and on right here. Okay. A little red light comes on. So the pilot little light works fine. And it's also on the RF output. So it's probably putting out RF. Um, a little closer here. Now let's take a look. All right, kids, don't try this at home. Uh, this is a hot chassis, okay? And I don't know if you can see it or not, but the tubes are glowing, okay? So the tubes are lighting up, and. Uh, I know this thing has been gone through because uh, whoever worked on it disconnected this selenium rectifier you're seeing there that obviously was a solder tube before, but what happened? They went ahead and put a diode in. And these things are notorious for going out anyway. So, and it should be able to turn right off. There we go. Okay, so. It would seem it's working. I'm going to have to test it out, of course, with a, a radio and 
see what it sounds like. And it should be pretty good, but I'll probably, eventually I'll probably have to change the uh, <coughs> electrolytic, electrolytics in it. Uh, they're still the original ones. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that before my voice goes completely today. And why is it going? Because of my allergies and because of the cottonwood pollen that's flowing, blowing everywhere. Okay, so anyhow, that's going to be it for now. See you guys later.